Tithes and offerings are not something that you do if you can afford it. Tithes and offerings are something that you do before you spend the rest of your money. Okay, guys and girls, how are y'all doing this morning? It is cold here in the middle of February in the south. February 19th, our verse from Proverbs, Honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruits from all your crops. The first fruit, not what you have left over or not if you have enough, but the first fruits of all your crop. Honor the Lord with your wealth and the first fruits from all your crop. Daryl Robertson from Oklahoma won the first really giant purse in bass fishing over $600,000 in the Ranger Millennium Tournament back in 1999, 1999, over 20 years ago. Still today, this is one of the biggest payouts ever. Daryl used $100,000 of that money to build a new activity center for his church. $100,000 of that money he used to build a new activity center for his church. To a real believer, giving to the Lord, it's not an option, it's an honor. Tithes and offerings are not something that you do if you can afford it. Tithes and offerings are something that you do before you spend the rest of your money. I believe if we do not tithe, we don't allow God to pour out his blessings on us. We are actually cheating ourselves out of something that God intended for us to have. You want blessings? Are you tithing? Those two are tied together in a big, big way, tied together in a giant way. You know, I was speaking a couple of times down at Second Baptist in Houston, and one of the guys there at the church mentioned to me that they had several million dollar tithers that belonged to Second Baptist Houston. And I thought, wow, you know, in Houston, Texas, there's gotta be a lot of people that make $10 million a year, but to tithe a million dollars, that's what you'd have to make, uh, you know, to use a 10%. My guess is probably some of those guys don't make $10 million. They still type a million. And you, you're probably thinking out there, because that was sort of the first thought in my mind, was that, wow, if I made $10 million, it'd be a piece of cake to tie the million dollars. But can I tell you, it takes the same amount of faith and dedication and belief to tithe a million dollars on $10 million income as it takes to tithe $10 on 100. It takes exactly the same amount. And there are a lot of people in Houston, Texas that make $10 million that don't come close to tithing a million, not even close. Let's look and see what our tip is for today. Throw at any movement on the water. When you see something move on the water, cast at it, no matter what, no matter what. I've probably told you this story before, some of you have heard it, but back in a, a, a project sports tournament years ago, this was before BASS and FLW, that's when, before Bassingale and Chris fished the, the project sports tournaments because there was no place for the women to fish, so she fished those tournaments. And, uh, and she was fishing one day and she drew a doctor, a local doctor from there in Hot Springs, Lake Horstall is near Hot Springs, and uh, she, uh, she was fishing, and, and the guy said, oh, there's a fish moved over there. And she said, oh, that was a turtle. I saw it. Well, the guy cast over there anyway, and he caught a bass that weighed 6 pounds and 12 ounces, the largest fish of the tournament for that day. I don't think it's the largest for the whole deal, but it's the largest fish for that day. Now, Chris was more observant than that guy was because she noticed that it was a turtle that was over there, but she was not really as... Uh, she didn't really do the right thing. I'll just put it that way. I'm trying to figure out a nice way to say that, but she just sort of messed up and didn't do the right thing because even though it was simply a turtle, she should have cast over there. Now, the reason that uh, the guy caught the six pound bass was turtles, when they pop their head up out there, they're usually around some brush or structure or a log or something like that, a piece of brush underneath the water. Ooh, Beamer growling at something down there. I don't know if she sees, a, she sees something she doesn't like down there. Could be a pig or a coyote or something out there. But anyway, she gave a little growl right there. <laughs> a little warning, a little warning to whomever's out there. But, uh, but, but, but there was, there's usually some brush around. So if, even if you see a turtle stick its head up, cast your lure over that. Anything that moves in the water, throw at it. Could be bait, could be a turtle, could be a gar or carp, something you don't want to catch, but it might be 
the biggest bass of the tournament. Guys and girls, y'all go out there and have a great one today. It's cold. I love you.